Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got the new release by Paper Discovery and this is called Travel and Adventure. It's really fun. I've enjoyed making the samples for this. So I thought I'd share the samples, show you the collection before I post them all off. I'll share all the links below for Craft Stash Live where it will be launched on Friday and it will be, obviously you'll see in detail as well and obviously lots of other inspiration as well. So this is what we got. Let's pop it all to one side. So I'll talk about each one first of all. Now they, every single one coordinates I should show you this one first really coordinates with this and this is the diorama box card so I'm just going to pull out this one so you can get an idea now you don't need a large die cutting machine for this but if you've got the extender plates on a standard size Sizzix for example then that will help but even if you don't have the extenders you can die cut it as far as your plates will go and then shift it along and die cut the rest so it's you know it will work but it's in and it's good as well obviously if you do just have the the smaller die cutting machines but these are the frames so you will die cut this one concertina fold your sides and then you would die cut these ones to create this scene for example which I'll show you the sample in a moment so you could have that one in front of the trees or you could have the trees in front of that one and then this one you die cut and it will seal the front that's your frame but that's what you would use for every card that's what you'd use obviously for this one but you might also just want to use this one and then you could bring in this die set and this here will give you all your kind of rolling mountains you've also got this kind of lake with the mountains either side so you can just use one of those for example this one here will create that one there. So you could die cut that, you just cut, die cut a piece of, as long as it's seven inches wide, the height will depend on how high you want it to be. But if you imagine in the background there, you could have the river and then the mountains. So it's a real nice one to kind of change, you know, depending on the style that you want to create. You could always just have that one as well. And you might have your own kind of um, dies and stamps that you want to use within this actual, you know, diorama card. So. You know, I would definitely say, you know, if you're interested in, like I said, die, die cut card shapes, then definitely go for this one because you've got those options there anyway. But it says, you know, on the back here what it coordinates with, which is obviously that one there. And you also get the tree on the outside. You get the grass, you get all these extra leaves to put on the tree. You've got clouds and you've got all those flowers as well. So I'm just going to pop this all back inside and I'll bring in the card that best shows what this will create. I've done mine as the apple blossom trees and then I've used every one of the rolling heels from this one here so you can see this one at the back I've also brought in one of the birds I've used some clouds and then these are some of the flowers which are here which I've just die cut twice and then kind of paper piece back together again with the trees I've die cut them a few times and then cut the the bark you know the trunks you can see all of that distress them all a little bit put some blue ink on the back there and it's really really pretty I did enjoy like I said if you're somebody who likes I said this before when I've shared the paper discovery products if you're someone that likes detail and just really kind of getting lost in it um, then you're going to love you know the paper discovery dies because they're very much that Olga's really thought about all the detail right down to all the little just the little bits you know these extra leaves but they really help bring that tree to life and you know make it nice and dimensional but you can see that frame there and then that's the tree frame at the back here and then this is stuck on the front I've used some grass along there but you can obviously put it wherever you want they all fold flat as well so they will fold and you know fit in an envelope there is quite a lot of dimension to them now so maybe a one for example one of my seven five by seven box envelopes would probably be better for this so it doesn't really crush but they've got a really nice profile as well they stand up and um, they look great when they're displayed so that's the one that I've created you know really focusing on those two dies and I'll just pop that one there then I've got all these pieces are really kind of just like add-ons so they're all extras that would go really well like I said with this one here but I would say that that's a good one as well because it does like I say on the back it does say it coordinates with this one so those are your, your main ones and then all these you can kind of you know choose really so this one here I think when I saw it I just it screamed Christmas kind of village for me and um I was thinking of ways to do it so that it could work as, you know, a new home card or maybe, I don't know, welcome to the, the neighbourhood or something, depending on where you live and whether you give those kind of cards out. But I've done this one here. You're going to laugh because I've just covered it with the holographic card. But you know what? I think it looks really, really fun. And just I wanted to show a way of using the dies 
because I think sometimes people think you've got to colour these and paper piece them all, but you can just do them in one colour. And then I've just put white card behind them all and die cut it again. So I could just, you know, kind of give it a bit more stability, but also close off all of the windows and everything. But you could colour all those now in yellow. So it'd look like the lights are on as well. But in the background, you'll see the embossing folder. And it's really nice to add that depth. So this is the embossing folder here. So it's called About Town, this one. Five by seven, so it fits perfectly in behind there. And then I've just used two of the rolling heels. So I've got one there and one here. And then I've just stuck, I've die cut every one of them. I've used every single one. But you also get a little picket fence. You've got the gate, trees and some bushes there as well. But I think it's really cool. And again, I always say it's like a disco when this card hits the light. It's just so, so fun. So that was just, I thought, a fun way just so you can think. You don't just have to, you know, use lots of different coloured cards. You can just use, this would look lovely all in white, you know, and then you could have a Merry Christmas sentiment on it. So yeah, I just thought it was um, really, really fun. So that's that one using those two. And then the last one I've done uses pretty much everything apart from the stencil. I never use the stencil, which looks really white on screen. There we go, you can just see it there, but it will create a scene as well. So if you're someone who likes stenciling, then they do have that one. But the last card I've done just shows all of these ones. And the, the best one I think is this one, just because I love the bridge. It's something really different. Again, I say it a lot with, with uh, the dies that all good you know, designs. I've never seen one like this. And it reminds me, for anybody that lives down in Devon, there's a really nice walk that I've done loads of times um, in Ivy Bridge. And you walk underneath, and this is, is a viaduct. And it reminded me of that. So, and I've been under it as the train goes over the top. And it's very, very old bridge, you know, and it's, it's quite, it's, yeah, it's quite a, a an unusual thing when you stood under something you've got the power of a train going over the top but it's a really nice journey as well whenever I've been on the train and you you just you, you are just the drop is just phenomenal really but anyway <laughs> I'm totally digressing this is what it reminded me of so I've kept that in mind when I made the card you also have this background die and this one's called in the country so I've used the, sorry, the embossing folder. So I've used that one. And then these are your stamp sets. And I've basically pulled elements of both. So this one is your in the country and this one's about town. I'll just take the glare off, there we go. So again, you can just stamp cards. So if you're somebody that just likes to just do stamping, you don't need the dies or anything. And they're easy to fussy cut, but you can create some lovely scenes here. There's, you know, you could have the car parked at the bottom here of this kind of road or pathway, and then you could have the house, you know, right at the end there. With that door would probably, you know, meet up quite nicely with the cottage there. This is the one I've used. I also like this one here, which is just the treetops, because the idea is, and you'll see it in a moment, is that you sit it just behind the mountain. So, you know, one of the, these ones here. So you would sit it just behind like this and it would look like the treetops just popping out from the top of that particular hill or mountain that you might see in the distance. And then you've got all different variety of houses. Again, you've got that little fence. So that's really cute. And then this one here, you've got your tire tracks, you've got the train track, you've got the birds there, the sun, clouds, you know, you've got an older car. So again, if you want to make a wedding kind of style card with this, this could be a nice, um, you know, die cut that in white and just do a few highlights in maybe like a silver and make a nice wedding card. And then you've got all these extras here as well. So I'll just bring in the last card that I've made with all of that. It's just really colorful. And again, I just had loads of fun and you'll see there how I've created this like viaduct scene. So this is what it reminds me of. And I've done the train in black because it's more of a silhouette because it's, you know, far in the distance, it's going quite fast. So you don't really see all of the detail and the color. I've also popped the sun in the background there, but I've just done two of the kind of rolling heels. I've done a pink cottage because I'd love to live in a pink cottage. You see the trees there, just the tree tops. And then I've done the other trees. And then as you get more closer into the foreground, then I've got these flowers here and the red car. And then I've done that road. That I just cut a strip of grey card and just used my Posca pen to create the markings. But I think again, I just think they're so fun. And this one could be one to just, you know, say, you know, take care on your journey or sorry you're leaving, you know, just change or, you know, welcome to your new home in the country. You know, there's there's lots of ways to do it. I'm just really showing you how to use those dies and kind of mix them all together as well. And in the background, there is that embossed one there as well so lots and lots of detail in this one really really fun to do and um, yeah as I always say I'm a big fan of the paper discovery but if I just bring them back in again 
I think they're quite different looks, although they're all, you know, the, the concept's the same, using that die as your base, but the style of them is all quite, you know, very different. So that one's just focusing on die cuts along with this one here, and then this one's more of your stamped images, a bit of blending, all that kind of thing. But I think they're really, really fun. So if you're somebody, as I've said before, that enjoys these detailed kind of dies and really creating a scene, then I think you're gonna really enjoy this collection. But there it is. So I hope you like the samples I've done and just a bit more of a detailed kind of look at the collection. And uh, yeah, check out the Craft Stash website. I'll link everything below and their Facebook page because that's where they're very active with like competitions. They do great giveaways so you could win this, no doubt, because they tend to do that with every kind of launch. So, but again, I'll share those links below for you. And thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Bye.